Today, we want to bring you a story about Tati addressing her differences with Kosi, the winner of Big Brother Titans first season. Welcome to Afrogis Television. Rock and David is my name. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel because we want to hit 6,000 subscribers. We are already in the 5K family, baby. So guys, let's continue going ahead to do the need for and obviously throw in those 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 required subscriptions and how do you subscribe lower right bottom corner is the place to be smash the black button that has the word subscribe just smashing it the notification bell that will enable you get notified every time i upload a video onto this channel so today is really a very chilly day where i am and uh, i want to bring you the story of tati you know tati and Kosi really had some bad moments in the house and tati was hurt on several occasions you know bad mouthing kosi you know that kosi goes ahead to copy her style and today well in nigeria on rhythm fm tati was asked this question and this is what she had to give us as an answer so it was definitely not one-sided but like what can I say? Because I feel like that is causing a lot of drama. Mm -hmm. I don't think that it's that. I mean, people might feel some type of way, but I don't yeah. think it's as deep as what I'm seeing online. I mean, I saw a video of somebody coming at you in a mm -hmm. verse, you know, in a very. I don't want to go into details, yeah. but and I'm like, I get that you might have your reservations, yeah. but I feel like it's a bit too much. So the reason I'm asking this question, maybe just might calm things down, mm -hmm. you know, a little bit, especially with that situation yeah, 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 yeah. online. Um, so. What do you have to say with all the chaos around that situation? I think for me, I'm at a point whereby I know my truth and that is sufficient for me. You get what I'm saying? As long as I know that on a personal level, both parties are okay and we're yeah. good, then that's fine. Because at the end of the day, only we as individuals know what actually transpired, you understand? Mm -hmm. What was genuine, what wasn't, you understand? Because there's a, when you leave the house, there's a lot of things that you're gonna hear. There were moments where I was like, okay, I don't have friends, oh my gosh, and like things like that. So I got to a point where as long as I know my truth, that should be sufficient for me and the next party, you understand? Should there be a problem, something that you guys address, you'd be like, oh yeah, do you remember, did you see that this, this, this ha like happened? How do you feel about it? What actually happened? You understand? So if both parties are good, then who am I to prove it out there? You as long as me and that person are actually good, I'm okay because we are good. That's right. So but well, all of this, um, hopefully, OP has not dented your relationship, friendship, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what it is with, you know, Kajan. Yeah, 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 not at all. all right. Not at all. All right, fair enough. All right, so um, post show, what are some of the things that you are expecting to explore? Um, everything, yeah. In a sense that I would really like to start doing things that I've never done before, like I said. Be it presenting, be it modeling, be it photography, anything that comes my way that can align with me as an individual, I will gladly take and challenge myself. Like I said, this is all new to me. But the fact that I am willing to take on the challenge, y'all can do yeah. anything. I can uh -huh. even take a job. <laughs> <laughs> let's see, let's see. Give me a run for my money. Um, but but um, I don't feel like I'm finished because I just something just pops in my head. Yeah. Uh, recently, I watched an interview. I didn't even watch it. I just mm -hmm. saw a snippet on Instagram mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. the interviewer asked Kosi, yeah, yeah, yeah. which housemate, which female housemate, mm -hmm. I think that's how he put it, do you dislike? Yeah. And then she goes, oh, not really dislike, but the one person that shocked me was Tati. Yeah. And in her words, I want to be sure that I'm yeah, saying it right, yeah, um, she said something like, you came for her looks and mm. you called her a chemical engineer. I don't, I don't know if I, I, know. I didn't watch that, but I mean, at the end of the day, I didn't watch the show yeah. 24 hours. Um, so what do you have to say to that situation? Do you remember that conversation and do you care about fixing, you know, clearly she has some, some sort of way. I was surprised it. because especially one of my favorite weeks actually was like the last weeks because that was when I got to actually bond with her. People yeah. don't even know the dress that I have on on the finals. I look good because of her. That was her dress. You get what I'm saying? It's the little things like that. Like we, we got along. You understand? But I think what happened was that, like I keep saying, once you leave this house, the things that you're gonna hear, I think it's always best for you to take it on with the person. So I think what I would probably like to do 
regarding her, like her and I is yeah. actually have a sit down. Like actually sit down and talk to me and be like, but what is a chemical engineer? When did I say this? When did you see that? Do you understand? Because yeah. I actually like her. So yeah. it is something you care to fix because yes, definitely, no. definitely. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, mm -hmm. whoever is in Nigeria, by the way, have you seen her? No, 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 no. Why? Why is that? The last time I saw, because we've just been busy. I, I haven't seen anyone. Hey, the last time I saw everybody was actually during the launch. Yeah, what? after the launch. That happened in SA. That happened in SA. Yeah. I didn't even see any of them because I've just been busy. Okay, fair yeah. enough. We'll take you. We'll take your word for that. <laughs> but um, something I noticed as well. Um, I think you were so cool with, cool with everybody, but at the mm -hmm. end of the day, like if, it, if I'm going to like say, oh, who was Tati close to? Yeah, I would yeah. say Tabang and Ipeleng aside the obvious, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it kind of also felt like, you know, like you were cool with everybody, but mm -hmm. then I, I can't place you with like so many people that yeah, you were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, cool with. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, was yeah. making, like was friend, having friendships or close bonds, was that something that was difficult for you? And, you know, coming out of the house, who do you see yourself being, like, really close with in the long run? Um, I think, the, like, one of the first things that you do in the house, you kind of go into the house and you gravitate towards people that you feel like you, you guys are, like, share, like, the same stories. You guys mm -hmm. are common, you understand? Mm -hmm. Like I kept saying, Ibiling and I went through like the same traumas and stuff like that and when we sat down those are the type of things we talk about Tabang just reminds me of my little brother they are the same it is it's it's just crazy you understand so um as far as other people go i think we just didn't get a chance to actually sit down and have conversations and have conversations you know because like right now i can sit down like yvonne is my girl because like in the like in the Probably in like the last, the last week. week yeah. yeah, I get. I got to know her. You understand? Because I remember, I'll be so sad. I was like, oh my gosh. I'll tell Ibili, and I was like, oh my god, girl. I never got to talk to her. You understand? So it was only the last weeks when we got to like get on. Like we are tight, tight. You understand? Yeah. So that's when I was like, okay, maybe I think with other people, it's just the fact that we didn't get to like. So even past show, so it still remains to bang and Ibili, and maybe Ivan, Ibili, Ivan. I talked to Millie, I talked to your Lucas, I talked to a lot of people actually. Yeah. Alright. But then um coming out of the house, yeah. which house they can you say were exactly the same as they portrayed in the house? Tabang. Okay. So who did you see it's as a lot, it's a lot of people actually. Okay, who else? Like it's like this black boy, black boy is a creative. Even outside he still remains creative. Yeah, no, I'm 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 talking in terms of their passing though. The, like their what personality yes, yes. towards me no like just in the house i think probably because at the end of the day it was a mm. game like yeah, some yeah, people yeah. just yeah. were playing a game which is yeah. understandable yeah, right yeah, yeah. yeah so who do you come up like okay so the, the way this person was in the house is the way this person is outside i think like tabang ibile um and juicy j yeah um so yeah. we're going to take Tavang, Ipeleng, we're going to take Jesse J. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, I, I did see you with Josh Too Funny uh, yesterday night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's going on? What are you guys working on? <laughs> <laughs> but there's something. There's something, right? Is there? They could be. You have a video. With, I don't with, know. With Josh Too Funny and Right? right. <laughs> <laughs> but then, um, I, I know I've asked you what you wanted to explore generally. But yeah, you're in yeah, Nigeria yeah. for how long? For a good two weeks or so. Yeah. So what are you like off the top of your head, what are the things you would like to do in Nigeria, both pleasure and work? Um pleasure is definitely having to see this country, you understand? Yeah. Explore it as much as possible. And obviously with that try to like try to see if there are collaborations that I can do. You understand? Like you're saying you are out here seeing videos with me and people, yeah. things like that. You know, just to just to try and network and actually put myself out there. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay, so I've got the part B of the interview. So I'm just gonna ask you random questions and yeah. you give me the answers. Alright, so if you were to write a biography, what would the title be? About yourself, obviously. That's what mm -hmm. the title would be. The title? Um, evolving. Evolving. Yeah. I think I think that works. Yeah, <laughs> So what's your, what's your guilty pleasure? My guilty pleasure? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I can't think of one. 
Please carry something. Please carry something. I don't think of one. I don't think of one. Okay. So, um, do you have any hidden talents that you know we didn't see in the house? Um. Everybody has hidden talents. Hidden talents. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so boring. Look at me, I don't even have answers for you. <laughs> no, there's gotta be something. Do you, do you like twerking? Do you like singing? Do you like, like, what is it? Um, I don't know. Because we saw some moves that we never oh, saw yeah. those there. Yeah. So what, what is it? What I is think it? probably presenting could be somewhere. Somewhere in there. Yeah. Yeah. Because I talk too much actually. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Not like in a bad, you know, we see yeah, that yeah. when you're having conversations with like yeah. people you're close to. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we all you have a beautiful face, aside your face. <laughs> you know, what other part of you makes you feel like, ooh, girl, I'm gorgeous. My body. Oh. I look at myself and I'm like, mm, mm, mm. you ain't gotta work out. Speak. <laughs> <laughs> Speak. Three things you, you must do every day. Three things you must do every single day. Eating. Mm -hmm. Calling my parents. Okay. You call your parents every day? Yeah. I. I, I okay. Good. Yeah. What else? Calling my parents every day. I'm praying. I'm praying yeah. every day. Fair enough. Um, what's your idea of an ideal partner? Mm, I, 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 I appreciate loyalty. Do you, do you see yourself as a loyal person? Yes, okay. definitely. I appreciate loyalty. I appreciate communication. I appreciate somebody that expresses themselves. Um, and I appreciate somebody that has respect. You know, you respect yourself, you respect the woman, you respect the next person that is right next to you, be it a janitor, be it somebody in the streets. As long as if somebody is older than you, it doesn't matter how much money they have. Like, it's 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 the little things. Yeah, the, the little things. Yeah. <laughs> and speaking of things, what's the strangest thing a fan has ever sent you in the DM? Mm, in the DMs are violent. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I understand, I promise you. So what was like the strangest the thing? The strangest thing. Probably somebody just wanting to give me a hell of money just to meet me. Like a lot. To a point I was like, okay, it's giving too good to be true. Yeah. Yeah, that was just weird for me. It's like, can I just get a hug? And I'm literally going to send you this money right now in your bank. I hear this no. thing that there are people who don't believe it. So guys, it actually happens. No, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, mean, you sh I mean, you should feel some time yeah, to worry about it. Yeah, but it actually happens. Yeah, he does happen. Yeah. yeah, there are a couple of people who don't believe it happens. Uh, yeah. Okay, so what's a lie you recently told? Here's Tati coming out telling me that she has no light. No, okay. I lie, right? No, perfect. I lie. So what, what's like a recent lie? Probably even in this interview. <laughs> what's a recent lie that you told? The, the most recent. Um, did I say I talked to everybody in the house? Yeah. That was a lot. That was a lot. Yeah. Okay. All right, moving on. If you can have like unlimited supply of one thing, what would it be? Money. Money. All right. Mm. Favorite Nigerian song at the moment. So favorite Nigerian song. At the moment. Um. I just like Buju. So anything. Anything. Right, I'll go with. Yeah. Okay. Say something sexy in a South African accent. Like. <laughs> Go baby, let's go. Say something in my language, yeah. Yeah, but sexy. And say sexy. say sexy. Say it sexy. <laughs> let's go. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> you can do it, Tati. You can do it. No, I guess I can't even think of anything. Um, in my language, um, something sexy. Okay. Should I say I love you? Just say in sexy. Language? Say, say something sexy. That's it. Okay. So in my language, when you want to say, I love you, you say, call back. I don't even know if that sounds sexy, but like... You can give it one more try. Let's see. Call back. Oh, like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. One has to make impression. Like, maybe can I'll say. What? Maybe can I'll say. And how? Yeah. house mate. Um... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I feel like they still know make it so easy, but go ahead. <laughs> Ooh. There's gotta be someone that you can make in the house. Damn. 
I'm just bad at mimicking now. Do, it's a, do you want me to give you a name? Yeah, but I, just, I, want you to, I want you to just do it. No, okay. just give me a name. Let me see who is interesting in the house. Do a Juicy J impression. Juicy J? Yeah. Um, Jonga. Jonga paid. Jonga. This is Zook. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Justin. Because he says Kalo. Kalo. Okay, yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Um, let's see. Don't have any other questions. Most rebellious thing you ever did as a teenager? Let me tell you, there was a moment where I went to this um, music festival. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, dude, so I went with my friends. My friends, like, went back home. Was like, I'm going up, so enjoying myself, bro. So I remember partying so hard because it's a music festival. You learn so many things. The cultural shock is up like that. Yeah. So I went to, like, that music festival. I remember at 3 a.m. everybody started scattering going home. I didn't have transport to a point whereby I had to now sleep at a McDonald's alone. Ooh. Not sleep, but like just go chill with my coffee at a McDonald's alone because I couldn't like I couldn't go anywhere and I was so far from home. My phone was dead. How are you? And people. Like not not like 2022 oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah so i was just chilling there it, there was a lot of people yeah and then i think people were just worried about me like where is she yeah and then i went back home that morning because it's like a two-day thing mm -hmm. i'm like yeah we were so worried i'm like okay i'm about to show i'm going back there again <laughs> so, I went back. so yeah i think that was just wild because people were just so worried about me right, for now because of time we have to wrap this up but um what do you have to say to everyone listening to right now Mrs. Especially your fans, <coughs> your fans the sunrises. Oh yeah, I did say that the sunrises. Yeah, so what do you have to say to the sunrises? The sunrises, I love them dearly. They are so close to my heart. They do so much, and they don't have to. You don't have to, but like, like, especially with the team that I have, it's literally girls. It's literally just females that are around about my age, and it's like seeing a young woman that are my age want to see another girl win. Mm -hmm. That was a complete shocker for me, you understand? Because there are some days I'm like, God, I feel bad. I want all of us to win. But it seems like God just kind of sent them to me. I don't know. I've never seen so much love and so much, like, they put in so much just to see me make it. And it's, 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 it's something that you appreciate. Yeah, so, so yeah. much. You know, and as for the sunrises, they don't have to, but they wake up every day and they in they are so invested in me and making sure that I actually make it. I, I, I I'm just appreciative of that. Yeah. yeah. But to be honest, especially when I ask the question, how are you doing? because um, mm -hmm. I saw a very good side. I've seen the nasty side yeah, to yeah, the yeah. show and I've seen what was directed as as you as well. And regardless of the reservations, I just felt like that this is too much. Especially there was a video that came out mm -hmm. I think two days after you were here or something, um, where somebody was saying negative stuff. But um, how have you been managing? And I know that's like the great side of the support. There's also the constant churning. You don't want to be looking at your phone and people are saying certain things about you. It's not nice. I'm a woman, I'm a female, and it's, it's, it's really, really not nice, yeah. But like, I always choose to look at the positive side of everything, yeah. Every time something bad, Every time I see something bad, I just call my parents and be like, did you guys see that people are saying so and so and so and so? I really always count on my parents to be like, no, don't mind that, just focus on the positivity and stuff like that. But I'm not going to sit here and lie and be like, I don't see those things. I do, but at the end of the day, I'm like, you know what, not everybody's going to love you as long as you know that you are intentional in everything that you do. That's fine. I was said. And what I would say to you is, if you haven't been following Big Brother for years, which you've talked about it, I honestly feel like sometimes, mm -hmm. you, especially right now, you sometimes you're nice if you have some good comments. Sometimes don't yeah, go finding yeah. it. Yeah. Um. Because it's I, I don't know why they do it, but yeah. it's just what happens and what comes with yeah. being yeah. on BB and especially if they're like you know a top competitor, yeah. like you have yeah. fans or something. So um, try as much as possible to have a mind. Thank you. And um. Don't really take with it. Don't even reply. Don't respond. Don't, yeah. don't read it. Don't yeah. answer it. Yeah. Don't get tired. I promise you. They'll move on. <laughs> they don't need to pass housemates. They'll do it to the next set of housemates. Right. 
you know, but have a mind of your own. Let your conscience be clear. Thank you. And don't don't pay too much you know, attention to that. I wish you the very best. Thank you Tati. So, so much. And uh, thank you so much for coming to Hot FM as well. And, uh, All right. You've heard the answer of Tati. Now it's over to you in the public court. Tell me your thoughts about Tati addressing her golf in class with with who? With Kosi. So, Rock and David remains my name. I sign up for now. See you as first of the day. And more is yet to pop up onto this channel. That's why you don't need to miss out on any story. And you have to subscribe. Me out.